know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm fucking proud of myself. It all goes back to one point. So I have a dream. A lot of times people see your dreams as they crazy. You going for your passion you have for your dreams may make you act crazy. Um, you trying to reach your goals for your dreams. You're driven, you know. The dreams you have are so visionary, they may call you a genius. But it's just, I'm a, I'm a dreamer. I love closing my eyes and dreaming. I don't, I don't really deal with reality when I deal with, with trying to work towards the future. I can't deal with what a reality is supposed to be. I have to, I have to take it to where, 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 where I see it could go, where I feel it could go. I have to dream, no matter if, if I succeed or, or fail, I can never be afraid of dreaming. I think that's what's gotten me this far. This whole thing is a big dream to me. Everything that I do, you know, performing, rapping, producing, making music, it's a dream come true for, you know, especially a young black kid, Mount Vernon, Harlem. Like, this is it right here. I love it. I go into it knowing I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers I've ever lived. You know, not even in a cocky way. I just feel like I'm one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever walked the face of the earth. You know, and that's just how I am. Because I feel I am. I am one of the baddest motherfuckers that ever walked the face of the earth. That's just a fact. That's just a pure fact. You know when I look you in your eyes. They know when I walk in the room. You know, that right there is clear. And it's not really how you start. It's not about a leg. It's about the overall race. And that's one of the reasons why I'm a marathon runner. I ain't no sprinter. I can walk out my door right now and run a marathon right now. And that's what separates you from me. You think I could book that for like the, the, the weekend of the 14th when the soundtrack comes out? If, if so, bump somebody. All right, thank you. All right, love you, man. Bye. I got my MTV out. Savage! I'm a savage! Oh! I'm a savage! Whatever I want, I'm going to get! Whatever I want, I have to get! What's next? What's next? I gotta get it. I'm not gonna stay fucking down. I'm not gonna stay fucking lying down. I'm not. I can't do that, man. I can't do that. What's next? Give me something else. What can't you do? I can do it. I can do anything. You cannot achieve success without failure. Some of my biggest successes come from some of my biggest failures. In the early 90s, when my friends were graduating from Howard, I got fired from that first job that I got with Andre Harrell. I know a lot of you know this story, but some of you may not know how scared I was. See, I was scared to death. I didn't have a degree. My girlfriend was eight and a half months pregnant with my first baby. I bought a brand new house in Scarsdale that I could not afford. So I, I found myself sitting alone in my bedroom and asking myself the question that sometimes we all ask each other. What are you going to do now? What are you going to do now? So I had two choices. Either I was going to sit in that failure and give up. Or I was going to make a decision to step out of the darkness. You see, when you're in that darkness, you want to sit there and wait for the light to come. When you're in that darkness, it feels uncomfortable. But you can't wait and sit in that darkness. The only way out is to step forward, to face your fears, to become your own light. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. There's going to be a lot of times y'all about to fail. I'm still failing every day. We are, we are all a work in progress. And one day, you'll be sitting in the dark like I was. And you're going to be asking yourself, what am I going to do now? You're going to ask yourself again and slow it down. What am I going to do now?
But in that moment, I want you to remember the power of you. Um, you know, my, my brand, I was known as the king of celebration, the king of parties. And I wanted something that was, that was lux luxurious and aspirational. And I saw an opportunity in the uh, um, ultra premium um, sector of, of vodka. Um, I, I was naturally a vodka drinker. And, um, you know, I knew about Ciroc. And I knew that it, it, at the time, it, it wasn't, people weren't really connecting with it, with the messaging. And so um, I proposed to Diageo. Maybe we enter a partnership. Let's see how it goes. Um, I, I told them these, you know, astronomical numbers that I felt I could hit, and um, you, you know, hit them. I, I hit them. We we take a lot of pride in the way that we have marketed and um, the success we've had, but we've also we also take a lot of pride in the responsibility, awareness aspect that um, that we brought to the industry. The road to the bag is definitely tied to your team, and the company that you keep. If you are surrounding yourself with different energies that's not on the same wavelength as you, if they're not praying for you, inspiring you, supporting you, or showing you a better way, hello, remove them immediately. But, 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 but even, even on, a, on a, just not to throw it away, really take some time and really Look at who you're surrounding yourself with. Look who's to the left and to the right of you. Are they like-minded? Are they disciplined? Are they pushing you forward? It's so simple for us to solve this. A lot of the hardest problems are so easy to solve. We just have to take those steps. Yeah, so, so I would say the, mind, the mindset that you have to have, you definitely have to be a little crazy. Um, your, 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 your faith and your belief has to be crazy. You have to you have to see what's not there and manifest it to be in there. Um, but the mindset is that I was a dreamer. I was a dreamer. I started this whole thing as a dream. And then the day that I turned into the combination of a dreamer and a realist, that's when I started to really go. You know? And that's that's saying like don't be afraid to close your eyes and dream, but then open your eyes and see the reality of what it's going to take for you guys to be successful. Um, you're already born, a lot of you in here, and born into a situation where the score is against you. So the level of greatness that you have to be to really be able to make a change and affect everything is, is you have to be greater than what they consider what's out there as great. So that means you have to work harder. And that's the reality. And that's, that's the world that we, we're growing up in. And the only way we can change it is by embracing that. So that mindset, that relentlessness, that craziness, and really facing reality of what it's going to take to achieve your dream is something that, that I think we all have to have if we really, really, really trying to get it, not trying to play around. Oh! <laughs>